Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Soap the Great, and I am here with another episode of Building This City. Just wanted to show you real quick something I did off camera. Finished this tunnel up. Kind of the same design as the other ones, just with stone instead of wood. Still kept the dark wood on the bottom and the mossy cobble and uh, spruce and green clay in the back. Uh, let's see. Also, last time, um, let's see, I was finishing up. No, I was getting ready to go back to the Mega Taiga, but I brought everything back, got everything sorted out. So now I think we've got a pretty good setup here. Armor, uh, tools, so that two types of armor there, two there, so on. Redstone stuff is in over here. Uh, potion brewing and uh, dyed stuff. So there's the wool, dye, stained glass. Great addition to the game, by the way. Clay, and then more clay. Got plenty of clay. And just miscellaneous stuff. I think I've, that didn't change too much. But anyway, um, today, or this episode rather, um, see right now I'm babysitting a, um, a set of potion, okay? And I'm also needing to babysit um, some furnace work. Because right? really, is, is uh, another rat good for anything other than just turning into another brick? I, I don't know, you tell me. Um, I don't really care for it, just as another rack. Um, but, you know, to each his own. So, anyway, so I'm sitting here babysitting these things, and they all have automated things available. In fact, I've set up an auto smelter over there, but that's kind of slow. Um, so, what I want to do today, or this episode rather, is um, I want to build a couple of automated devices uh, to help take care of that. And one of the reasons behind it, at least for the for an automated potion brewing stand is um, we are working on taking on the ender dragon and uh, that's going to take some potions we need some health and reach in and um, some strength potions just to make sure that we can take it out don't know how difficult the whole fight's going to be but we want to be prepared so I need to brew up a bunch because all four of us are going to get together and take that on as a collab and I'll bring you all along for that. But uh, I'm going to build that right in here. I'm going to slot it in. I'm going to use the design by Tango Tech with um, at least leave some room because I want to put an item elevator for the water and uh, just leave some room in case I need to do some maintenance um, so I can have some access in there. But I'm going to slot that in here and then um, I want to put an automated furnace in. And that is going to go in over here. Sorry for the jerkiness here. Um, so yeah, I need to do some digging. And then uh, once I get that done, I'll probably bring you along for a little bit of a time lapse. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But uh, then I will get most of that built and come back and show you what I've done. And then, uh, and then yeah, so that should be this episode and uh, hopefully it works out and then I can stop babysitting furnaces and the brewing stand so I will be back with y'all in just a bit for you and quite some time for me
back. And uh, I am over here grabbing some supplies uh, because it is uh, it's necessary at the moment. It looks like we're going to have to come back for uh, some AFK time here. Well, maybe not for this part. Wow, look at all those spider eyes. We haven't been using those. Uh, then off jars, sticks, and no extra junk. So let's get some more of that. And I will leave that gunpowder. And just take back some sugar. Alright, we'll take back some of that. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's head on back. Yeah, it'll be time to replenish the stock here a little bit. But, um, I... I've gotten, let's see, hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse that I just finished up. Um, things look a little bit different now back in the in the base, so let's go back and take a look. Now along the way you'll get to see some of what has been going on. Um, one of the other guys on the server has taken it upon himself to uh, really do a number on... Uh, on all of that over there and that's where a lot of that gunpowder has been going to so we're slowly but surely clearing out the perimeter it's, it's taking a while because we all work um, day jobs otherwise you know we wouldn't be doing this, this server together because uh, we wouldn't have met each other but uh, it's the name of the game we've got day jobs and families and so we don't quite have all the time in the world to just do these little projects. So a little bit at a time here. All right, so we're heading back. You see a bit of, a, of jerkiness here. And that is because there is now a lot more going on down here. So are you ready for the big reveal? Man, that's, uh, we're getting down to... 25, that's not too bad. Um, I've recorded worse with y'all, so you ready? How about that? What do you think? This is Tango Tech's design uh, with a couple of uh, additions. Um, namely, how it, it all, uh, how, how this works. So in Tango Tech's design, the water is right there, and you just fill up your bottles, and then the chest for the water bottles is up here. Um, I wanted to hide it, so what I did is I put in this item elevator here. It's the special glass one. It doesn't quite work. I've got to do some debugging on it, um, and I'll, I'll show that to you real quick. The other thing... Um, is that I've added one more layer. It is a tileable design, and so you just add one more layer on. And that is because um, there are new potion items available in 1.7, the puffer fish mainly. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the two additions. So let me show you this item elevator real quick. Uh, we've got redstone stuff. Actually, we probably need some redstone as well. Um, and water bottles. Okay. So, you ready for this? You come over here with your water bottles. And since we are in survival, what's going to happen is my inventory is going to fill up and then I'll start throwing the water bottles. See that? Or attempt to drink them. Well, I do not want to throw my uh, bucket. Okay, so you see that? You just throw them and uh, hopefully most of them end up in the water chest. Not all of them do. And those animals are loud. Let's turn that down. That up, hostile creatures. We'll keep that one up. Turn on the friendly creatures. Okay. 
and then you just throw all these water bottles in there and hopefully they get in I don't throw it Q there we go okay so let's take a look you see that they're not all flowing through in fact oh my see this is this is a headache right now I don't know what it is something so some of them go back some of them don't but um, we do have a decent amount and I'm just gonna chuck those in there um, that's this uh, item elevator is just to play around with this particular item elevator um, so take that for what it's worth and we'll get these last last few okay so much for that I will work on that let me show you how this thing works um, one of the things that I've been needing to do is making some more splash potions of harming for the, um, the item or uh, mob mob farms so what you do is you key in your recipe so first we want a spider eye that gives us potion of poison and then for minute spider eye potion of harming um, we want to make it do a little bit more damage so we'll put on some glowstone and then splash potion for gunpowder okay so now you can you can look in here and you can see well those haven't come up yet you can look in here and see there are water bottles ready to go run and I've got a little note note thing this is a full tango tech design um, complete with the notes and you can see you check this another warts going in you can see the um, the batch of the next batch of what's going on there I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want to keep running it but it's gonna run through this whole thing so we got the spider eye going in now uh, awkward potion spider eye make potion of poison and we'll just let that go I wanted to bring you in real quick and show you the progress thus far um, yeah we'll, we'll just let that run and just to show you there are currently five and we'll watch in a little bit and make sure that there are eight because it's doing three right now so the other thing um, that little time lapse you saw me clear out this area and then some of this area back here turns out I did not need to clear out that much I've got a whole extra space here so I'm just I'm gonna be filling that in but not on camera and then um, I need to add some lighting. Wow, I'm getting some lag here. I don't, I don't know if it will manifest so much on the recording, but we'll see. Um, you notice the ceiling here. I had to go up one so I could have room. This is a pretty tall build. Um, let's see the other considerations. You know, when I was looking at the tutorial, I didn't quite pay attention to the blocks I was going to use. The Tango Tech design, since it is in creative, he used quartz and iron blocks. And uh, while I could use the iron blocks, since we've got the iron farm, the quartz was a bit difficult. And really, that, that design was too bright. I didn't really care for that so much. So I had to go back to the drawing board. Um, and, and kind of figure out a design to use or to put in place and um, we've got a bit of a theme going on with the green and the dark wood so we've got dark oak there and this is spruce that the dark oak logs themselves look a little bit lighter than this um, but the spruce tends to match a little bit better at least in my current estimation um, with the dark oak so dark oak and spruce together and this green kind of ties in with the tunnels um, 
that we've that I've, I brought you along for part of the design process. You see that green clay, dark oak, spruce, and then over here, same thing, um, but with stone, green clay, spruce, right? Dark oak right there. So yeah, I wanted to do that. Um, the other thing is I need to do um, a huge or one of those industrial furnaces. So that that's done there. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Eight uh, total splash potions of harming. Um, I'll, I'll let that run a little later. Pardon me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the industrial furnace in over here. I've been playing around with some designs on it. It's going to go back in here. I'm going to be moving this uh, probably within the next week or so burying it a little bit further down to here and I've already gotten my measurements set up for that uh, how far I need to dig over to the witch farm but uh, yeah there's the plans for right now um, sorry for not doing so much building on here let me, let me know what you think what, what do you enjoy you like you like seeing the the building, you you enjoy the talky episodes, you like seeing the um, progress I make. Uh, th the reason I don't like doing all the builds on camera is because, like I mentioned earlier, I don't have much time. It's very hard to get recording time, but I can get playing time in. So I can get these builds done um, in the early morning when it's not as easy to record. Um, and on, uh, on, on nights when it's not good to record so I can get some of this done a lot of the work done and then just bring you in so let me know what you think you like the time lapses you like the builds um, do you like just the snapshots just come in show you what's going on um, let me know what you think I would love to hear from you um, but I'm gonna cut out here um, and I'll, I'll do some digging I'll bring you in for the, the overall look and feel for the furnace but it may not get done this episode because I'm still working through some bugs in creative. But uh, that's it for now. I will be back in just a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So when we last left, I told you that I would take a look at the industrial furnace. We've already seen the potion room. So let me show you what I've got in mind. Now, most of the tutorials for the industrial furnace that you'll find online either give easy access to the inputs or easy access to the furnaces, and I kind of want both because I want to be able to get the XP for things that I smelt, and I would like to be able to access the chests like this yeah, without having to look up and, and reach. Oh, you don't go like that. So, this is the design that I want. So this will this switch would turn on XP mode versus just send it on to the sorter. And these chests would be the inputs for fuel and smeltables respectively. And then behind here would be all the mechanics. Well, that's the thing. I would have, uh, you know, I, I wanted to make some progress on that, but uh, just just didn't have time this time. So I've got the user interface set up, and then as I was putting this together, I realized, you know what? It's not symmetrical with the other side. You notice how over here we've got two of the main wall, and then the sorting area, that's nine, nine wide, and another set of nine for the main wall. Over here we've got three, one, one, two, three, and then this thing, I haven't even counted this one. But what I really want to do is have something different over in this area lined up with the compact sorter box over there. Then structural right here to match up. And then I'll build some sort of a column that uh, kind of you know, swings across the ceiling that we're going to blow out even further. And then I'll move the industrial furnace that way. 
Um, as you can see, though, I've got some other stuff in the way, and that's because our, you know, our main goal on the server right now is to get ready for the Ender Dragon fight, and that's that's kind of what that is. So I've got a little enchanting area because I've I've got you know just been doing some some farming that's been leading to XP, so it's a little easier just to come over here and do that. And then also snow golem and auto melon and pumpkin harvester there. So so yeah, I've, I've been focusing on getting ready for at least doing my part for the Ender Dragon fight. So I haven't worked too much in creative to work out the bugs here. So most of the designs have a bunch of hoppers or some really complicated, complicated redstone. So we're we're going to go with complicated and not really compact because this is where I want the chests. So I'm going to make that work. Uh, I did try chests a little closer together, but trying to get item elevators uh, and or mine carts to do what I needed to do in that small amount of space it just wasn't working. The item elevators were conflicting with each other and the just uh, the minecart stuff needs a few extra blocks around it. So this is what we're going to go with and I'll be going that way some with it just to get all the redstone in. But I will bring you in for that a little later or maybe just show you. I may just get that done and show you once I'm once I've finished up. But anyway, so just to let you know some of what is going on, we are getting ready for the Ender Dragon fight. Um, main thing is spending time at the blaze farm and enchanting some really nice armor. So right there, so hello Bigman. Uh, I got the infinity bow and uh, there's a few other things. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's been that's been pretty good. We've gotten a bunch of watermelons so we can put gold around it, and make some potions of health. And then we'll see about trying to get some gassed tears, but I don't know about that. We'll see. Anyway, um, I will bring you along for the Ender Dragon fight. I'll probably record that when we do that. It'll be a lunch break thing, and, and everybody will sign on, and we'll just take care of that. But uh, I'll record it and then do some commentary. That's probably a couple weeks from now. So, still getting ready. I haven't done this. We've got some other stuff planned for the next episode, but that is it for now. So we've covered this potion room. I've told you about my plans for that thing, for the furnace, furnaces, and uh, yeah, that's that's that. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on it. It helps me out. If you really enjoyed, you want to see more of this, I put these out every Saturday, but you could, you could get notified by just subscribing and, uh, and that'll show up in your sub box every Saturday, generally around 7.30. I usually get it up on Friday evenings. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, as always, I do really, uh, I do really want some comments, questions, suggestions. I look forward to that. And I do thank you for watching. And I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye-bye.